Hi, this is Jason from Horrific Nightmares. Welcome to the Terror in the Isles Challenge. This is a segment I'm doing with my good buddy, Joe the Horror Man, where we're going to examine films from Terror in the Isles. Not only the theatrical cut, but the television cut as well. Today we're going to be talking about Scanners. Scanners is a 1981 film which runs approximately 103 minutes and is written and directed by one of my very favorites, David Cronenberg. Now, he was responsible for Stereo, The Fly Remake, and Rabbit. Now, this stars Jennifer O'Neill as Kim O'Brist. She was in Summer of Love, Rio Lobo, and Time Changer. Stephen Lack as Cameron Vale. He was in Dead Ringers, Perfect Stranger, and Head On. And Michael Ironside as Danny Revok. He was in Starship Troopers, Visiting Hours, and Total Recall. Now the budget on this film was $4.1 million, and this had a worldwide gross of $14.2 million. Alright. I also feel like Scanners may be one that not a whole lot of people have seen either. So I'm going to keep my my uh, synopsis brief on this one. Uh, this is about Cameron Vale. Cameron Vale is a derelict. He is basically a bum and he is able to do things with his mind. He's able to read your thoughts and he's also able to make you do things with his thoughts and to cause you big time harm in your mind. Now he is picked up by a company called Consec where he has a mortal enemy named Danny, or no, Daryl Ravuk. I don't know if I said Danny before, but it's Daryl Ravuk, played by Michael Ironside in one of his best roles, in my opinion. Now, this, of course, has the exploding head scene, which is, which is what I mean by scanners can cause you so much damage in your mind. It can basically blow your head up. Now, you do find out the reason for the scanners and how they came to be. There is a certain drug called ephemeral that they were giving mothers as an experiment and it passed on to their unborn children, which calls scanners. That's all I'm going to say about the plot itself. All I know is it's the good guys versus the bad guys and they're all scanners. That's pretty much what you have here. I always thought this was one of the most creative movies I had ever seen. Even when I was younger, my father doesn't like horror movies. This is more this is more sci-fi with horror in the mix. And my dad actually liked this one. He liked he always liked sci-fi. So he liked the thing. Uh John Carpenter's the thing except for the you know the real blood parts in it, the gory parts. He liked scanners except for the gory parts. Of course that's what I loved about it, but you know I also love the story and all that, but he was able to actually watch movies like this because he was a big sci-fi fan. Now, this is probably, this is definitely top five David Cronenberg for me. This was my very first David Cronenberg movie that I saw. I saw this on home video when I was really young. My second movie was Videodrome, and my third, I believe, was The Fly, and I went to see that twice in the theaters. And ever since then, I have loved David Cronenberg. Um, every movie I see by him, I like it more and more and more. And I have watched most of his movies, and I love pretty much all of them. Now I'm going to get to my relatable recommendation, which is amazing. This movie is by Joe Begos. And it's called The Mind's Eye. This is basically what they say about this film. This is the Scanners sequel that we never got. And that's pretty much what it is. You can tell how David Cronenberg was influenced, has influenced Joe Begos in a lot of his movies. Not only uh, David Cronenberg, but John Carpenter as well. That's why he's one of my favorite um, modern directors. Check out The Mind's Eye. It's amazing. 
check out Scanners. It's even more amazing. And don't forget to check out Joe's review and see what he picked as a relatable recommendation. And if you like what you see in here, hit that like button and subscribe. And until next time, peace.